Welcome in the third video that belongs to the valve preprocessing tutorial. In the first video we have prepared the main geometry of the valve, in the second one we have prepared the geometry of the valve's plug. And in this video we will get back to the main valve geometry and we will split it into two parts, the inlet part and the outlet part. We will create an interface patch between inlet and outlet part on which we can later in the CFD simulation evaluate some interesting variables. We are also going to close the geometry, it means to create an inlet and outlet boundary faces and cut and remove the unnecessary part of the valve above the plug seal. You can continue working in the previous saloon session or you can start a fresh session and load the part 2hdf file we have saved at the end of the second video. I have started a new session so I have to open the file from the second video. So I will go to file, open and I will open the file part 2hdf. Now we have to activate the geometry module and expand the geometry in the object browser. Show the main geometry of the valve, the one we have processed in the first video. And also display the plug, the one we have processed in the second video. Now we can see the overlapping areas in the middle of the valve. Here we are going to split the geometry and make an interface and also here in the top. We are going to cut the part of the geometry that exceeds the plug seal. Now switch to the principal view and hide the valve's geometry. Now show just faces of the valve's geometry. So expand the valve's geometry in the object browser, select all the faces, right mouse button click and click show Let's make cuts now. Select the face we would like to cut. Go to Operations, Boolean, Cut. Optionally you can change the name of the new cut. As a main object select the face we would like to cut. It's already selected. And as a tool object select the plux geometry. So it's the region 3 closed. Click Apply and do the same for the second face. So as a main object select the second face, it's the face 158 and as a tool object select the region 3 closed that is already selected, it's the plugs geometry. And click apply and close. Now you can see here that new cuts were created and now repeat the same procedure for the faces that are in the middle of the valve's geometry. So select the face, go to the operations, boolean, cut, main object is the selected face, tool object will be the, the plug geometry, click apply and the same for the second face in the middle, select the face, it's a face 145, as a main object, as a tool object, select the plug geometry, region 3 closed, click apply and close. And two new cuts are here, the cut 3 and 4. As you can see here, some faces are missing here after the cutting. We can use missing faces from the plug. Expand the plug geometry and the missing faces are face 2. So select face 2, right mouse button click, click show. And the second one is face 123. So right mouse button click and click on show. Now the geometry is complete. And now we have to explode cut 1 and cut 2 into faces and hide exceeding faces that we don't need anymore. So select the cut 1, click on new entity, explode, explode it into faces and apply and close and the cut 2 the same, new entity, explode, explode it to subshape type face and click apply and close. Uh, now select the exceeding faces 
and hide them. Now we are ready to split the geometry into two parts. Let's start creating the inlet part. So it means we have to select and hide the outlet part first. So let's do that. Select all the faces from the outlet part and hide it. So and that's it. This is the inlet part. So let's make a shell from visible faces. Select all visible faces and go to new entity, build, shell, change the name to region 1 for example and click apply and close. So and this is our new shell, region 1, the inlet part of the valve. Now, as we can see, there are holes in the geometry of the inlet part of the region 1. The hole near the inlet, in the upper part, and also there where we would like to have the interface. We have to close them, and to close the geometry we can use suppress holes functionality. So go to the upper menu, repair, suppress holes, change the name, for example to region 1 closed mark remove all holes and click apply and close this is just the information that three faces were created in order to, to fill all the holes of the selected geometry click OK and now you can see that all holes are filled by faces there is the inlet face, the upper face and also the interface phase. And now we are done with the inlet part and we can continue doing the same procedure to make the outlet part. So at first hide the region 1 closed and instead of it show all the faces from the whole valve geometry. So select all the faces, right mouse button click and click show. Uh, now hide the faces in between the inlet part and the outlet part. Instead of them show cut 3 and cut 4. And remove all the faces from the inlet part. This is the outlet part, so now we can create the shell for the outlet part. So select all the visible faces, go to new entity, build, shell. Optionally you can change the name, for example to region 2 and click apply and close. And this shell has to be closed as well as the inlet part, so let's do the same that we did for the inlet part. Select the region 2, go to repair, suppress holes, change the name for example to region 2, closed, mark remove all holes and click apply and close. Two faces were created to fill all holes, so click OK and that's it. Now we have two independent shells, region 1 closed, that is the inlet part, and region 2 closed, that is the outlet part. So now it's time to save the progress. Press Ctrl S and save the progress, for example, into file part3.hdf. So and that's all from the third video.